What's up beauties, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing some tips for sweat proof makeup so you can still slay in the sun and not have to worry about your face melting off. The makeup I'm doing today is pretty basic so it's very beginner friendly. Also I do have a new lighting setup so I wanna apologize if the lighting looks a little different or weird in some clips. I'm still working with it so just bear with me. So first I'm taking the Skindinavia Primer Spray. I'm sure you guys have heard of Skindinavia before. I like it not only because it makes a smooth canvas for long lasting makeup, it also makes your face feel very 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 soft so even if you don't even want to wear makeup you can just spray this and go and your face just feels incredible um, so next I'm gonna mix my nuance medium deep warm foundation with my black radiance mocha honey I love the combination of these two I'm using a kabuki brush to apply that and I'm actually not gonna set my face with any all-over setting powder you can do this if you want to but I feel like it's a lot more lightweight without it so again sorry for the lighting issues right here but I'm using my Rimmel stay matte liquid mousse foundation in the color true nude y'all know this is my go-to must have drugstore makeup product and I'm applying that under my eyes and my eyelid and I'm just blending that with my finger to warm up the product a bit um, you also have more control over the blend as opposed to using a brush so that's why I chose to use my finger now I'm taking my covergirl tube blend fix stick to highlight the bridge of my nose and I'm blending that out with my finger as well this is the start of my nose contour highlight process we'll come back later to finish it um, and someone was calling me right here <laughs> um, but now I'm gonna highlight the spots or set the highlighted spots with my L'Oreal True Match powder and again we're not going to set the face with like an all over face powder you really do not need to. Onto the brows, I'm going to highlight underneath with my RCMA Light Concealer from that palette. Um, I like to do this before the brows, you can do it after, do whatever you would like, um, but I'm just blending that with my finger to warm up the product and to have more control over that contour, or over that blend as well. So for the brows themselves, nothing has changed in my little routine. I'm using the dark brown pencil to draw that bottom line, and then I'm filling them in with a dark brown powder from my Maybelline Nudes palette, and then on top of that, I'm using the darkest concealer in the RCMA palette to finish it all off. So once those are done, onto the contour. I recommend just using a powder to contour for heat purposes. And this is the oil-free matte black radiance powder in the color Ebony. You guys have seen this before. I love it, I swear by it. Um, so once the soft contour is done, we're gonna take the bronzer in that crown palette that I always use, and I'm gonna warm up my cheekbones um, above that contour. A little tan looks really nice in the sun, so we're just gonna warm up the face with that, and then bring it down by the jawbone as well. For the eyes, I'm keeping it very simple. I'm just taking the Balmy in that Sigma Brilliant and Spellbinding palette, and I'm applying that all over the lid. It's a very pretty, gentle color, so I like that. Then I'm using the Left Crease color in my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, and I'm taking that on the outer corners um, or the outer crease and then bringing that up. The color is a soft golden brown and I think any shades with golden undertones look really nice on darker skin tones, especially in the sun. Um, so that's why I chose to use that. For the inner corners of my eyes, I applied the Mana Kadar Fantasy Shadow and then I did a little winged liner with my Sigma Line Ace Liquid. I had to get really close to the mirror and I wasn't even in frame so that's why those clips are out. Sorry about that. Um, for mascara today, I'll be using the Rimmel London Volume Colors Mascara. I love the formula of this and the wand separates the lashes for like a very nice even coat which is a big plus for me you guys know and yes I got some on my lid I'm sorry I cleaned it up though we're good um and then I'm not putting any eyeliner mascara or shadows on the bottom lash line it's just too hot for all of that and the sun loves to ruin your under eye makeup so we're just gonna stay away from that I'll be using some Ardell Demi Wispies and I'm applying those off camera really quickly and I'm back then back to the nose I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the color Toffee Caramel just to go over those thin lines that were created um from the under eye and nose highlight so it's a nice little nose contour and I also think the makeup looks good without a nose contour so don't feel like you have to do a nose contour you don't have to <laughs> next I'm taking my L'Oreal glam bronze and sweeping that on my cheekbones and then I'm bringing it up by the outer corners of my eyes too just to glow some up next major key I'm using the must-have silky cotton loose powder only under my eyes to prevent any creasing from the foundation that was under there um, I'm not setting my whole face with this powder we'll be using a spray for that um, but you can see here how the under eyes already look so much better they look more doll-like more awake so I love that now look how much highlighter I put on this brush you do not need that much highlighter I don't know what I was doing I just kept dabbing it in there um, but again this is the Mana Kadar fantasy shadow and I'm putting that on top of the L'Oreal glam bronze for blush I'm using Sigma Corte Rosa and normally I do the blush before the highlight but I kind of like doing it after now because it makes the highlight have like more of a rosy color so I like that for lips I'm using the Rimmel exaggerant lip liner y'all have seen this before you know it's my favorite I always recommend it 
it if you're looking for a really good drugstore lip liner. It's a very smooth texture and I love the tone of it. So yeah, we're just using that. On top of that, I'm using my Black Radiance Perfect Tone Lip Gloss in the color Cashmere. You guys saw this on Snapchat. Was it yesterday? Two days ago? I don't know. You saw it on Snapchat. Um, I told you guys to get it because it's amazing. <laughs> it tastes really good and it looks amazing even without the lip liner. So if you just want the lip product by itself, I recommend that. And if you want to do a matte lip instead of a gloss, another color you guys have seen me rocking is the NYX Lingerie in the color Beauty Mark. Um, that was what I was wearing at the end of my hair cutting video. So for everyone asking, it was that NYX Lingerie uh, Beauty Mark. So once the face is done, there is one final extremely important step, setting spray. This is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. Now I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Urban Decay actually partnered up with Scandinavia to create that all-nighter setting spray that we all swear by. I love it too, but I really, really like this one, just the Scandinavia one itself. Um, I actually used the film with just one ring light, and after about 30 minutes, my face would be sweating. I would be sweating bullets, I looked a hot mess, it was terrible. Um, but now I actually film with that ring light and two box lights. And with this spray, my makeup is not going anywhere. I am not sweating, it lasts all day long. Um, there's actually a really cool science behind your face temperature and how the setting spray works. So I'll link that below if you guys want to read about it. I thought it was pretty cool, really interesting. Um, but yeah, like I said, my face is is flawless throughout the entire day. I've worn makeup all day with this spray and I didn't have to reapply anything but lip products. Like if I was wearing a gloss or something, that's it. Um, but the rest of my face stayed pretty fleeky. So I swear by it. I recommend it. I have a link to the products and a coupon code below in the description box. If you guys want to get your hands on the primer spray and the setting spray, they're both equally important for a sweat proof makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I know it was pretty basic, but I hope you guys picked up on some tips. Again, all the links are in the description box below. So be sure to check those out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.